Hello class. I seem a little agitated today. It's because I am. Beaker is getting a little bit freaky. I think being stuck in the house all this time is causing him to, I don't know, lose it just a little bit. As you noticed, he's taken to wearing a mask all the time and even gloves. These aren't even gloves. These are fingertips cut off of a real glove. Anyway, I keep telling him, we are in the house. We're keeping social distance. You don't need a mask. Nobody's sick. You certainly don't need your glove fingers. Anyway, I'll, I'll keep talking to him. While I'm dealing with Beaker, you can enjoy this lesson. Part two of friction. And we're going to look at another example. Uh, just so y'all know, this is literally one of my favorite examples in the entire course. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Example two. Now let's take a quick little look-see here. We have situation A and situation B. We got to work these two parts separately. In both cases, the man is pushing in this direction. Take a look here, watch the man. He's pushing in this direction with 200 Newtons. And in this one, he's pulling with 200 Newtons. In both cases, the angle with the ground is the same, 30 degrees. And in both cases, we know that the sled with the kit on it has a mass of 30 kilograms. So, in both cases, what we're looking for is the frictional force, which would obviously, in both cases, the little girl is going this way. I think that's a little girl. Could be a little boy. Going this way. So, what we're looking for in both cases is we're looking for the friction force this way, and we're looking for the acceleration. Now, before we even start, remember, friction force equals mu times normal force. Well, we know that the coefficient of friction is 0.15. So to find the first part, the friction force, all we really need to do is figure out the normal force. And for acceleration, we already know before we even start the problem, we know that force equals mass times acceleration. But the trick for us is when we're doing friction problems is we have to use the net force, which the net force equals the applied force minus the friction force, friction force. So. We'll start the two problems. Uh, we'll do the boy, I mean, sorry, the man pushing on the sled first, and then we'll do the man pulling the sled second. You can take the mask off. It's not doing any good. It's not even covering your nose. What, what are you doing? So, part A, we've got the man pushing with a force of 200 newtons in this direction. So he's pushing down like this with 200 newtons. Why is that not FA? FA is not 200 newtons. Well, for a force applied to count, it has to be the force in the motion of, and I'm sorry, in the direction of the motion. So FA would be this part and then there's also some wasted energy. Part of his um, pushing is going down into the ground, which is actually going to end up adding to the girl and the sled's weight. So the first thing we need to do is we need to realize that FA is not 200 newtons. Even though he's pushing with 200 newtons, FA is not 200 newtons. So we're going to use trig to find FA. This should be a pretty, pretty basic little review for you. So we set our little triangle up. We've got 200 newtons going this way. FA is going in this direction and going down this way. You can draw the uh, triangle in a different way if you want to. Since I've got the 30 degrees here, it makes it easier for me. But you could also draw it like, uh, oops, sorry. You could also draw it as a downward force and then calculate these parts here. But then you got to figure out the angle. So just easier just to set it up like this. Uh, use um, trig. Um, to find FA, and we end up with FA being 173.2 newtons. Sa ka toa. This is the hypotenuse. 
This is the adjacent side, so you would use cosine to find the x side there. Also, please note, we're going to use this in just a moment, so there's some extra force here in the downward direction. We can't forget that. So, we have the normal force, which is the 30 kilograms times 9.8 meters a second, so we have a normal force of 294 newtons. Uh, we have an extra down force of 100 newtons. Um, again, I'll let you calculate that on your own, but suffice it to say we have the same little triangle here. We use sine of 30 degrees and our known hypotenuse value, 200 newtons, and we end up with 100 newtons as the extra down force. Uh, mu is given to us as 0.15, and we have a uh, total down force. So we end up with friction force is mu, Friction force is mu times normal force. Well, normal force in this case has an extra part. It has the regular normal force, which is the weight of the sled and the girl, plus the extra downward pushing that the man is giving. And so we end up with a friction force of 0.15 times 294 plus 100, which is 59.1 newtons. And that is the answer to the first question. So, on to the second question. What is the acceleration of the child? Just a quick little reminder. We're going to do, oops, sorry. We're going to do uh, force equals mass times acceleration. And just remember that the force we have to use here is the net force. So, I don't know what that point one is doing there. We'll get rid of that. So, we end up with the, uh, we need to find the net force. Uh, the net force is the applied force, which is going in the motion of direction, minus the friction force, which is opposing the direction. So we know the applied force, which we calculated first, is 173.2 newtons, minus the friction force, which we just calculated to be 59.1 newtons, gives me a net force of 114.1 newtons. Using that net force, apply that into force equals mass times acceleration. So the net force is 114.1. The mass is 30 kilograms. We take 114.1 divided by 30, and that will give me my acceleration of 3.8 meters per second per second, uh, which is equivalent to, sorry, which is equivalent to uh, 3.8 meters per second squared. And that is the answer to part A. Just at least let me, at least let me take the, the glove. The glove, can we, can we take the glove off for a second? Just Okay, for part B, now we swapped over here. Now notice what the difference is. First off, once again, FA is not 200 newtons because he's pulling in this direction like this. And so part of that 200 newtons is going in this direction, which is basically part of it means it's wasted. That gives his applied force is going in this direction. And then there's some extra lifting up of the weight this time. It doesn't add to the weight of the sled and the girl, actually reduces the weight of the sled and the girl. So once again, we use trig to find FA. This time we're gonna use uh, the sine, this angle right here is 30 degrees. Uh, so once again, we'll use cosine to find FA and sine to find the weight. And you end up with the force in the applied direction is gonna be the same, 173.2, because the angle is the same angle. Uh, notice we used, um, we use sine again to find the extra weight, which is that other side of the triangle here. So we got the 200s going this way, the applied force is here. There's some extra force going in the up direction. And we use mu, which is given once again. We use the normal force, which is here. And we're trying to find the friction force. So substituting in, friction force equals mu times normal force. All this is the normal force all this. We have the regular normal force, which is just the um, m times g, and then we have to subtract the extra weight this time because normal force is uh, um, like the weight, and this extra force is going up, so it actually reduces the normal force a little bit. So the friction force on this one is 29.1 newtons when we take 0.15 times 294 minus 100. And finally, we need to get, calculate the acceleration just like we did before. We gotta find the net force. Well, the net force is the applied force calculated earlier minus the friction force. We just did that. 
gives me a total of a total net force of 144.1 newtons using that 144.1 newtons in F equals MA I can calculate the acceleration so again I just put F equals MA 144.1 newtons which is my net force 144.1 divided by 30 is equal to my acceleration which is 4.8 meter 4.8 meters per second squared now this may be the kind of problem you got to back up and, and watch it a couple times to see how it works but make sure you understand this one again this is would be considered classic friction problem type number two and it's really really important you understand this one it's a very very common type of problem uh, that's the end of part two but i'd like to give you just a quick little peek at part three we're gonna have to add a couple little skills to us but just there you go there's example number three and we'll be taking a look at that one next week thank you anyway as you can see beaker has decided he's going to keep the mask on for a little while as always stay safe i hope to see you soon look forward to more information next week about a zoom lesson we'll be sending that out uh, probably over the weekend via remind um take care <laughs>